Hey guys, Nemo here. And we just plane walked into Alara. Once shattered into five shards that evolved to become starkly different from each other, Alara is now whole again. So yeah. The Farox and Ajani. And there's two encounters here. Okay. So we got this encounter here named Dragon's Eerie. And uh, that sounds pretty dangerous, but uh, you know, the last deck we unlocked was the Nil deck, so let's try that against it. I did unlock one card by playing it online, but hey, might have 61 cards in the deck, I don't know if I... Yep, actually yeah, yeah, I went in there and took one card out. Uh, so let's, yeah, we provoked some dragons who rule these peaks. So let's see about this. <clears throat> let's see about this. Okay, this is very fast milling. He only has 33 cards in the deck. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you can easily mill out these encounters. As long as uh, he doesn't play too mu many dragons too fast, then I think this is might actually be really easy with this deck. <laughs> Don't know what's he got? Dragon hatchling. Okay, he just—he's probably just gonna play bigger and bigger dragons. That's the idea, I guess. I don't want to play both of these, but let's play Root Sephir, Sephir medallion first. Almost, almost said Ruby, Ruby medallion. So I used to say new Ruby medallion too from the previous game because that's the only one that was in the game. Now there, are all five of them are in there. Yeah, the uh, dragon pile. How fitting had the uh, ruby medallion in the previous game. Okay, what can this guy do? Top puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Okay, that's cool. But I guess I want to start with Howling Mile, Mine, and Jace's Erasure because well they kind of combo together very well. Because I both of us draw an extra card. Now whenever I draw a card, he discards card. He um, gets milled, top card of his library goes into his graveyard, so what that means is that he draws extra cards, now I draw two cards and he two of his cards go into his graveyard, that's one, that's two. Is that a Sheevan Dragon I just saw? Yep. Sheevan Dragon 6 cost 5-5 five, five flyer that you can pump for uh, red. This is one of the first uh, dragons I think. This is the one that spawned the whole dragon thing, so there you go. Um, everything costs one less, so I can play Jace's Erasure and my Videlcon Entrancer, so there you go. Always nice when I can play a lot of stuff at once, because that makes it go a lot faster. I want to mill him out as fast as possible. Maybe, I mean, if he, if he just draws mountains at certain times, like he draws Dragon Mountain, Dragon Mountain, so... Actually, if I set this up smartly and make him mill like one card a turn, then that means he will never draw a dragon. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a counter spell. Um, so now I can copy his dragon and counter spell the next dragon he plays. But then I can't do that. But that's okay. I will do it anyway. So yeah, I'll copy that one. Now, if you play another dragon, then I can counterspell it. Oh. So, yeah, not much he can do. If he doesn't play a dragon, then I can tap this guy to uh, mill him a little faster. He's in 19 cards now. Um, so, that's gonna go really fast. Oh, you don't think I'll block? I'll block, man. I'll block. Yeah, screw that. No dragons for you. No dragons for you, pal. No dragons. <laughs> yep. Throw some more cards out there. Oh, and I have another... I have an Into the Royal, so... <laughs> it's gonna draw me a card, which also makes him discard two more cards. Um, and I don't need to do it now, so I can also use this ability. He's a 10. Let's see here. Okay. That's fine. Stop. 
do this. He's gonna go to eight, isn't he? Yeah, eight. Those are gone. Gonna go to five, four, three, two, and zero. <laughs> Fast turn. Hey buddy, you're up. Let's see what you can do, alright? Do something really scary. Let's see it. Oh hey, I win. How, how'd that happen? I have no idea. Let's savor this moment, guys. Let's savor this moment. I achieved, a, I, I achieved an unlockment. What? I, I unlocked an achievement. Um, can I see what that does? Wait a second. I can do it in, in Steam, but uh, I don't want to go into Steam here. Let's see. Each player draws X cards. Oh, this is the one from uh, Jace's deck in, the, in 2012, Prosperity. Well, that works a lot better in this deck. It makes a lot more sense here. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'll go and see what I can take out, I guess. Alright, we're back. Now we're gonna play against the Nefarious. I'm gonna play the uh, mill deck yet again. <laughs> Why not? So this is the Exalted deck. Interesting stuff. I haven't seen much of this deck yet. I've seen like two people play it online, so... Um, I did the challenge against the Exalted deck. Uh, oh yeah, that, that reminds me, I should be talking about Jules Community, really. Um, but let me think if I wanna keep this hand. Okay, I'll keep. The, the, the danger with this hand is just drawing lands, but... Eh. I mean, if I get the uh, the thing that... Howling Mine here, then that works really well with Jace's Erasure, and works well with Sapphire Medallion, because to draw more cards, then I wanna have the land to play him. You know? Uh, I don't think I need to keep mana up for counterspell just just yet, but just having it and drawing the counterspell makes me feel a lot safer. Anyway, I should be talking about Jules Commune because uh, I'm not, of course, the only guy on YouTube who's making videos, and I know most of you who watch me uh, come from Jules Community and know me because of that, but uh, since this is a new game, many new people might be checking out these videos, so you know what, I'll talk about Jules Community. <laughs> Again, I'm not keeping the counter spell up, I'm not worrying just yet. I think it's at 4 mana that I need to really start worrying about his deck. But uh, there you go. Um, so there's also a, ch a channel on YouTube called Jules Community where occasionally uh, me and some other people from YouTube who play this game upload videos about this game so uh, yeah if you're looking for other people who also do stuff like this then definitely go check that out the link is in the description it's always in the description of all my videos so if you were wondering where to get the link it's in the description <laughs> um, I can play this guy for free uh, but then I can't keep my counter spell open so I'll wait a turn of playing him because I want to be able to counter spell if needed I don't have anything to de defend myself now though, but it doesn't really matter because this dude is unblockable anyway, what's this? Oh, for Defender, Exalted, I don't care about the Defender. Um, it has Exalted, but pretty much anything in this deck is Exalted. He's gonna be a 4-4 four, four, though, attacking for 4 damage, unblockable. Oh, this is gonna be attacking for 5 actually. So that's really, really good. No, no, uh, wait a second, why? Why am I thinking 5? Now it's 4 doesn't really matter if if a guy attacks if he has exalted or not and man <laughs> never mind I'm thinking weird things um, but I don't think I need to sleep yet that's good because that means I can play that guy and have counter spell open so sleep again makes me feel comfortable here um, makes me much safer but the milling isn't going so fast <laughs> I'm just doing it for two at a turn. Um, yeah, uh, that's okay. The dude that himself doesn't have Exalted, does it? No, so it, it doesn't actually matter because I'm not going to be attacking him anyway. And he's going to be attacking with one creature <laughs> anyway as well. So neither of us really cares about that. So I guess maybe he wanted to play that and uh, get me to counter it or something. I don't know, but I'm still feeling safe, you know. 
with the counter spell and the sleep. There you go. The only problem is it's going to take a long while to um, get him to lose last cards. But this is going to help though. Two more a turn. So that's really nice for me. Um, yeah, anyway, the reason I was also talking about Jules Community is that the challenges of this game, I'm going to be uploading them there. Uh, so you're going to be able to see me play the challenges of this game if you go to that channel. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good way to find people who play Jules uh, of the Planeswalkers on YouTube. So yeah, a little, little plug there. <laughs> And the Farox dude, you're gonna throw two more cards into your graveyard. Um, he's attacking for five a turn, so now I have to sleep him. Oh, and he is way not, not milled out yet, but there you go, I'm gonna have to play this. And then I don't have mana open to ca play Counterspell, but um, I kind of, you know, I don't, I don't even know what to counter him. I'm dead as soon as he gets to attack one turn, so... No, no point in attacking. I want to mill him. Uh, he's at 20 life. There's no way I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him before he runs out of cards. But it's also very unlikely that he's gonna run out of cards before I, uh, <laughs> before uh, he kills me. So there you go. There's another evolving wild. I don't know why he's saving those up. <laughs> I guess he has enough land as it is. Uh, he has 333 cards. <laughs> and... Are you gonna play something or what? I, I, I don't have a counter spell for one mana, dude. So I don't know what, what's so hard to think about. There it is. Okay. Okay. So that would kill me. Yeah. Um, that's a problem. But anything he has will kill me. And he has 31 cards left in his library, so I don't know, man. Fodscour will draw me another card. He's at 27. Let's play Fodscour. Um, he throws two cards away. And I draw a card, so he throws two more away. Oh, this is really good for me. He can only attack with one. Oh, man, that saves me. Yes, yes, that saves me. Because he can only attack with one. No matter what. Because he has this dude, the Silent Arbiter. So he can't even choose to attack with more than one now. And I can just return whatever he, he, he attacks with to his hand. <laughs> so that saves me another another turn here. That is amazing for me to draw that. And it's going to draw me another card. Um, wait a sec. Bloody bloody blah, blah. You may tap target creature. Um, I don't think I want you to get that. I don't know what, what's more dangerous than that in your deck. So let's just go ahead and... Kind of spell that. Because it makes all his dudes bigger and everything. And um, I might as well wait this out. <laughs> because it's going to do it anyway. And it's going to feel stupider after I. Uh, it, it's going to feel stupider if it's doing it, doing it for nothing. So there you go. And two more because I also drew a card. Now he's at 19. So we're getting there. You know, it's, it's getting close. He, two more. He goes to 17, uh, and he draws two cards, and another Fodscour, oh wow, and a Counterspell, oh wow. This could happen, guys. I could totally win here if I get really lucky. There's a clone. Um, he's at 11. 2, goes to 9. I can't give it a haste or anything. Can I clone this or, uh, and, and stop him from attacking at all? That doesn't work. <laughs> Just thinking, uh, but he has an unblockable guy. That's the problem. That is the problem. Um, two more, he goes to nine, but there's no way for me to draw cards more for myself. If I could draw another card or anything for myself, that, is there anything that comes into the battlefield and draws cards? Um, because that would be an idea, but no, no, I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead, guys. It's a shame, but I think I'm dead. Let's do this. Oh, man. That is such a big shame. 
That is such a shame. He's just gonna draw two cards and he's gonna be at seven and yeah. I would have gotten him next turn, no doubt, but not this turn. So my deck's just a turn too slow it seems. <laughs> That's really unlucky for me. Um I don't know why he's sti still playing stuff, but it's not because he's an asshole at least, because it's just the AI. <laughs> it's just the computer I'm playing against. You know what? I'm just gonna uh concede here, doesn't matter. I lost. <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm gonna try it again, I guess, in the next video. My name is Gunnima, my name will still be Nimo then. Check you guys later. Bye.